They don't wet, they don't cry, and they don't have boyfriends named Ken. None of these dolls was introduced on a Saturday morning cartoon show. They are the folk dolls of the world, some of them dating back two centuries, like this Flemish doll. Reminds me a bit of my third grade teacher. The dolls have wonderful faces, faces full of gentleness and innocence. Most of the faces have that. Some of them are a little lacking in detail. There's a 19th century Norwegian doll who appears to have lost his nose somewhere in the last 100 years. And a wax doll from England who no one has melted or turned into a candle in 137 years. And here, I guess, is a bit of 19th century American social commentary. We have the bride and groom all ready for the big wedding day. The groom has for getaway day just a nightshirt. The bride has a wardrobe large enough to fill a small department store. There are our old friends Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy from 1918. No Rambo dolls here, nothing about to blast into space, just dolls that you know brought squeals of delight to their young owners hundreds of years ago. And toys, well, where else would you find a rocking pig? Or a whirligig from Brazil. Uh, not an antique yet, it was made in 1965. This is from Brazil too, a carved wood armadillo. And toys you shake and watch. These are from Poland, Bulgaria, Mexico, and the Soviet Union. Real United Nations toy. Here's just the Soviet version, with bears, of course, playing drums and dancing. No threat to Gene Kelly. This is from Egypt. I'm not sure what you call it, but it's lively. There's a Ferris wheel you turn by hand, and a bigger one that got stuck. People on board are never too happy about that. There are wire planes from Zaire and dolls from Czechoslovakia made out of corn husks. And everywhere you look, you see the imagination of adults around the world creating wonders for the generations to come. Al Clement, News 8.